It's a voyage of discovery and the results are surprising. How do things work? It's a question Lucian has been asking himself all his life. It's a great science lab in a box that can learn how sounds are created. His curiosity and passion has resulted in this extraordinary collection. Vacuum cleaners, light bulbs, televisions, professional audio gear, analog computers to complete coverage of electrical and electronic technology of the 20th century. This is the video game that started it all. Lucian had planned to spend the next 20 years sharing the collection with the public. He dreamed of a hands-on interactive museum and playroom where anyone could touch and learn about the inventions which shaped our world. Just before my 50th birthday, I was diagnosed with stage four cancer. I was really given six months to live. That was now 18 months ago. Time is running out. What do you want to happen to all this? I want to break through the boundary of what defines people's perception of a museum. I want to find the person who will spearhead it and take over where I can't carry on before I run out of time. And that's measurable in weeks now, maybe months, certainly not years. I don't have years left. This is just a temporary storage site for a small proportion of the collection. Basically, you will see 10 or 20 times what you can see here. It's an analog computer from the early 1960s. All the computers we use today, it kind of began here, effectively. Absolutely. There's a, a whole generation of technological experts whose opportunities to teach and pass that on are gradually slipping away. I would like to see the collection utilised in the way that I planned it to bring people into technology to discover how it touches their lives and how it can be um, a career or a hobby. Despite his illness, Lucian's desire to teach and explain is undimmed. It was one of the sets that heralded the era of television for everybody. The USB stick is very familiar. The technology really started a hundred years ago with organs. He stores the stop combinations so that the organist can recall them during a performance. If you understand one, it's only a very short leap of imagination to understand the other. Lucian has a name for his dying wish. The Museum of Electrical and Electronic Technology. I've only got a limited time left in which to make this all come together. What would it mean to you were that to happen? All the value in everything that I've done, everything that I've earned, I've put my entire savings into it. I've put my entire leisure time in the last 15 years into it. it it's my life's work. As unique and informative as its owner, Lucian dearly hopes his collection can inspire and educate others for many years to come. Tim Muffet, BBC News.